In order to create a coin, we need first to get rid of the full cube normally. So X deleted. By the way, here you can see my keyboard shortcuts and my mouse gesture. So whatever I'm pressing on the keyboard, you can see right there. Okay, so let's do it. Press Shift A, go to the mesh and select cylinder. Cylinder because it's most look like a coin. So this is it. Before I do anything, I want to go here to the options. And instead of 32, I want to go with 64 vertices because it's a little bit smoother. And I like that. Okay, now let's go press S to scale it and Z to scale it on Z axis to look like a coin. Perfect. That's it. And we are basically done. We have a shape of coin. We just need a texture to put on it. But I don't want to make that simple coin. I want a little bit more interesting. And from here, we can go two ways. Basically, we can make I want to make the rim of the coin that small. I don't know how to say those small gaps and you know extrusion. We can do it by making a geometry or we can add some kind of texture and then displacement, etc. But I want to use it. Uh, I want to make it as geometry. So how to do it? Let's go to the edit. And uh, I'm using a machine tool. If you're wondering what this pie menu is, it's machine tool. And I explained that in my very second video on this channel. By the way, if you're not using this, you just press tab and you're in this edit mode. And by pressing one, two or three on a keyboard, you can switch between vertices, edges or faces or just go right here. Blender crash course. All right, now that you know that, uh, let's go and select edges. Okay, I want to select the this whole edges all around, not just one edge. So how to do it, press Control and Alt or Command and Option on Mac, and then just select everything around. Perfect. Now I want to bevel it Control B or Command B on a Mac. And I want to go with one, two, three of these like lines. Just scroll with the mouse wheel and until you have these three and the gap between these selected and unselected should be similar. So something like this. Perfect. And we are done. All right. Now what I like to do is to go to the faces, press Alt or Option and select everything around. And I want to select every other face. So how to do it? Go to select and go with checker deselect and it will des deselect or select every other. OK, you can hear control maybe different every second, etc. But I want every other. All right, perfect. Now I want to extrude this. But before that, I will go back to the object. So press tab. And I want to go with control A and apply the scale. Perfect. Now let's go back to the face. And I want to extrude it. If I press just E to extrude it, it will be really crazy. I don't want that. So undo it. If you press E extrude and escape, you need to undo it because you already have extra polygons here. So control Z to undo it. Now we'll go with Alt or Option and then E and go with extrude faces along normals. And now we have this. Okay, I just want a little bit, a little bit like, like maybe this. All right, I'm happy with this and then go with S and Z and scale it on Z a little bit. Now I want to scale it on X axis to make them every single one a little bit narrow. So how to do it? Well, there is a cool trick to do that. If I press S and X, Hmm, nothing happens because basically I'm scaling scaling it on X axis. So X, S and X. So this is what happens. We don't want that. So we need to go either here and from medium point, you need to go to individual origins or you can press dot on a keyboard and just go the same from median to individual. All right, you want that. Now if you press S and X, again, nothing special happens. Just every single of these polygons are extruding on X axis. You need to change from global to normal, right? And now S and X. And here it is. This is what we want. So just a little bit like this. Perfect. Also, I want to go to this top part and press and hold shift to the bottom part and then I to make something like this and then E to extrude it and extrude it down a little bit, not too much. All right. And now let's go back to the object. And this is our coin shape, beautiful coin shape. Now we need to add a texture. So now I will add a texture that I already prepared for this example. Uh, I will leave the link down there in the description where you can download this same texture for your practice. And uh, also you can download this whole project file on my Patreon. Also, the link will be down there in the description, right? I will go with this. Um, let's first go here and split this to two screens. This screen will be shader editor. Press N to get rid of this window. OK, and I want a new material. Perfect. Also, I want to go here from EV 
to cycles because I love it and I want to go to GPU compute. And also here I want to just drag that Roman coin texture that I have and connect it to a base color. So if we go here to render view, you will see something happens here, but we cannot see the whole texture. How to move the texture? Well, really easily we need to go to UV editing here, UV editing tab, and you can see that the UVs, if I press A here, UVs are already unwrapped because this is a Blender default object and they are pretty cool. I don't want to mess anything here. So I'll just select one of these um, vertices, press L to select linked and G and move it out. And also I can scale it because I don't need this uh, rim, outer rim of the coin for the texture. I will just color it later, but I want this top part. This one, if I select, go right here, press L, select everything, G, move it right here. Let me show you how this looks. If I move it, I want to position it in the center, S to scale it, and again, G, move it, and something like, let's press seven to go to the top view. Something like this seems decent. Let's see if I move it a little bit down, a little bit up. Hmm? What do you think? I think it's a little bit more. Just need to position it however you want. I don't want to move it too much, but for this example it's great. Also the bottom part, right here, select one of these, press L, select everything and do the same thing. So something like this seems decent. This coin is a little bit damaged. It's not the perfect circle, but that's great. Now let's go back to layout and you will see we have really nice coin, but we don't have a texture for this outer rim. So how to do it? Let's go right here to the materials, create a new material. And before we assign it, I want to go back to the faces. I want to select top face and bottom face by holding shift and just invert it, control or command I and everything else I want to assign to this material. So basically this, assign, create new material, assign it and go with the dark brown color. So something like that. Let's go back to the object and let's see, we can change the color maybe a little bit brighter. We can change any color we want. So less saturated, a little bit darker. Maybe something like this. For this example, this is perfectly fine. And we have a really cool coin. This is great. I really love it. So there is just one issue here. And that's if we go like here, you can see that mm, it's flat. Also, another good way to see this, if you go to 3D viewport, go to top by pressing seven and go to light. Let's see here if I go to top also. If I move this light around, you can see, let's move this light a little bit down. So, oh, we need to go from normal to global. GZ, move it down. And now go to the top view. You can see that only the shadow of the outer rim is changing, but everything else is completely flat. So how to fix it? Well, we need a normal map. A normal map is basically a map like a JPEG image that tells Blender where bumps and where dents in the image. So it has that kind of information. So we need to create one normal map for this coin. There, a technique, there is a technique actually that is a manual way to create a normal map and involves several steps. But I know that we are all lazy and we all want to have it with the press of a button and I will show you that way. I recently discovered a really great plugin that is called a deep bump and let's go to the shader editor. It's here, deep bump. And we just press a button to generate a normal map. In order to install it, you have the link down there in the description. Just go through regular installation process, go to edit preferences, add-ons, and just install that zip file. And you will see, follow the instructions and you will have this right here. So you need to go to the shader editor and with by pressing N on the keyboard, if you don't see the side menu, you will have it here. So we have our coin material, but we want to have this material number one with the Roman coin JPEG as a base color selected. And you can go right here to tiles overlap and choose between small, medium and large. I will go with the medium for this project and just select or click to generate normal map. In a matter of few seconds, voila, it's here. 
everything is properly connected, you don't need to do anything, just press of a button. And now if I go back here to 3D viewport and go to my light, now look at the image. See? Now this is what we want. We have all information about where the light is hitting, where the shadows, etc. This is all that we want and looks perfectly fine from all angles. Of course, from the bottom there is no light, but this is really, really, really good. If I go back to shader editor and you can see if I deselect normal map disconnected, look at the coin without normal map, with a normal map. Also, you want always to save this normal map, this JPEG file that is now generated, because if you don't save it, you will lose it, you will have just a black texture instead of this. So in order to save it, you just need to select it and just go, for example, to UV editing tab. This is how the normal map looks with all the informations and just go to the image here and save as and just save it wherever you want. I will save it in my coin folder with uh, Roman coin normals and that's it. Go back to layout and now you will always have it. Additionally, you can generate a height map or displacement map, however you wanna call it, and add a displacement. I don't think it's necessary for the coin here, especially if you want to mm, see the coin from a little bit further away, not this close up, but that's another option. Just add a displacement and add additional geometry. That's it. All right, this is one version of the coin that we can create. And there is another version of the coin that you can create here, like an ancient Mayan coin, for example. It's a different technique, but really, really simple and easy. So that's involving this kind of artwork. So you have, if you have black and white artwork like this, you cannot create a normal map out of this because everything is just one plane. There is no information about the depth. So there is a really cool way how to transform this into a coin by saving this as an SVG, scalable vector graphics in Photoshop. So how to prepare this, just go uh, here to channels, control click or command click on a Mac on RGB channel. And now everything that is white will be selected. So you want to have white parts something that will be part of the coin and black that something that you don't want to keep. So something like this and then go here to path and select this. With this option right here, you will turn selection into path and now you just need to go to layer and here new fill layer from a uh, new fill layer as a solid color. Press OK and choose any color. I will go with some kind of uh, yellow. Why not? Something like that. Perfect and just go back to layers and deselect the background layer. So we have only this. Go with the file, export, export as, and I will choose the SVG right here and let's go export it. And I will name this my SVG and let's go back to Blender, right? Let's go to file, import, scalable vector graphics and just find your Mayan coin and we can hide this coin. And to see mine, it's all the way down. We can scale it up just to see how it looks. Perfect. Go to the top view and this is how it looks. It's currently as a curve object. You can see here, we can go to curve data and this is really important because if we go to geometry, we can extrude it. And by extrude it, we can make it really fun. So let's go back here to the viewport shading and this is how it looks. So extrude it, extrude it as much as you want, so maybe maybe like that. And you can also bevel it, so to bevel it, let's go down there and bevel, I, I'm using shift to bevel it with a small increment, so something like this or maybe 0.002 is okay. Yeah, I really like it. And now that I'm happy with this, I will go right click and convert to mesh, perfect. And now we can go back to here to the shader editor and Instead of SVG material that is brought from Photoshop, I can cancel it, create new material. And here I will go with some kind of gold. Let's go back to render view. Some kind of uh, goldish material, right? I want to be metallic, less rough, just something fun for this example. And let's see where our light is. It's uh, right there. So let's bring it a little bit down. And it looks like that. Let's bring our other coin here and this one at the top just to move it somewhere here. Actually, actually what we want to do, this is the origin point. So I want to go right click and set the origin to geometry. And now if I scale it, it looks like this. I can put it at the top of this one just for fun to see how it looks. Okay, looks nice. 
can blend these two together. <laughs> no, but this is this is the second coin. So basically, let's move it right right there. Okay. This is how these two coins looks. Different version of the coins. I like this Mayan coin. We can also make it more metallic, less roughness, maybe, maybe something like that. Roman coin and ancient Mayan coin that can be any other color that you want and you can add different material. You can add maybe some noise texture here, not to be that flat and whatever you want. This is a topic for another tutorial, but really simple, really easy. You can do these kind of coins and do with them whatever you want. If you also want to learn how to create furniture, the chair in Blender with a cloth filter, really simple and easy. Check out this video right here. See you there. Bye bye.